Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're playing this fantastically named puzzle. Well, I think, you know, it's because the individual has a fantastic nickname uh, in his construction career. Happy birthday to Fast Sandals. Now, when you actually take a look at this particular puzzle, uh, and I'll explain a little bit about what's going on in the thumbnail, it definitely makes a reference to Bilbo Baggins' 111th birthday party. Is it? Am I confusing it with a different puzzle? Because now I'm looking at it, I see the number 11, I don't see the number 111. So, <laughs> I may be entirely missing the point here, but I imagine Fast Sandals as Bilbo here, the elderly man in the, in the center, and uh, wearing fast sandals. Uh, I'm not sure where you're running to, fast sandals, with those shoes. Sportswear. I'm just getting digging in. Uh, shall we just take a look at today's puzzle? So, today's puzzle is, as I mentioned, happy birthday to fast sandals from Timbotab. And it's got references to 11 everywhere. I'm, I'm absolutely certain I'm not imagining this. I think where the puzzle was posted had essentially a photo of, you know, from Lord of the Rings of that particular birthday party. Rules-wise, I'm kind of wondering, Timutab, if this feels like much of a party. I mean, you've got clones, so, you know, Fast Sandals is going to a party to get clones. That doesn't sound like fun. There are little killers everywhere. And then finally, there are killer cages. Um, let's see if we can make something of all of it. Rules-wise, so we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. That means place the digits one to nine once each in every row, every column, and every three by three box. This is fairly normal. Then we have clones. So shaded areas are clones. Digits in clones must be identical and in identical positions in each clone. So the way I'm sort of interpreting this is, if you take this cell here and make it a two, where it is inside this one, inside this shaded area, it has to be in the same location inside this shaded area. So this cell would be a two. And that would be true for all the shaded cells, obviously not just the ones that I've just picked. Then we have little killers. I'm trying to see if I can spot an easier one. Numbers outside the grid gives the sum of the indicated diagonal, and these digits can repeat if allowed by other rules. So for example, and to be fair, they're all saying they're 11. So for example, this little killer cage that's saying these two cells add up to 11. This cell here was two, this would have to be nine to make sure that these two cells add up to 11. We also have killer cages. So I can't use my two in this one. Can't use my, oh, hang on, I can here. Digits in cages cannot repeat and must sum up to the value in the top left corner of the cage. Now, once again, all the cages are adding up to 11. You could spot a bit of a theme going on here. Maybe fast sandals is turning 11, not 111. Um, and if this cell here is a 2, this would have to be a 9 again to make sure that these two cells inside this 2-cell cage must sum up to 11, which is the sum that's given in the top left corner. So, uh, relatively straightforward rules uh, for Sudoku variants. If you want to celebrate Fast Sandals' birthday, uh, then uh, you can do so by playing this puzzle down below. Us as usual, there's uh, a link in the description. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I got on. You know, sometimes I wish I kind of take a moment to just take a look at the puzzle before I hit the restart button. Um, I mean, all right, so where we have given digits, these two cells must sum up to five. So only two ways of doing it in two cells. So five plus the six to add up to 11. So this is one, four, or two, three. These two have to sum up to eight. And this is a little bit easier because it's not one, seven. It's not 3, 5, it is 2, 6. That is actually given. Now, these look half tempting, half tempting. But the problem is there's a huge degree of freedom because the minimum I can make is something like four, th sorry, three and five, three and 2, that's 5. So that's a lot of degrees of freedom. So I'm not quite sure. 
where I should be looking. I mean, a two and six. Sudoku, is that how we're meant to start? Just any rules? I don't think I have. Oh, sorry, there. <laughs> uh, I just need to check all the variants. Okay, so this looks incredibly. I mean, I, I can't imagine it's a six, for example. So let's just have a think. One, two, one, another, one, two, two, and a one. That three, four, five, six, eight, ten. So there's only one degree of freedom. So not a lot to go on. So this could be a two. This two is forced because, you know, it's only one degree of freedom. This two is also forced uh, because if it's essentially, if I'm using more than one degree of freedom to get to the next digit, it'll be a four, which is too big. So that is a two, that is a one. Now this could be one or two. This could be one or three, and this could be one or two. Lovely. This one, two, three would have to be here, and it's a three. Three, three, and then the rest is all as low as we can make it because we've used our degree of freedom. So let me just double check this again. One, two, three, four, seven, eleven. Done. Right. Let's see if we can use this somehow. So that's not two, that's not three. In fact, that is not three. No. Therefore, this is not two. This is a one, four pair, and that one gives me a four, gives me a one. Excellent. We're up and running. Sorry, it took me a moment there. And now these are probably a little bit interesting because, it can, as you can see, the minimum here is actually quite big. Actually, let's think about this one next. So that's, if this is a 2, this could be a 2. It would have to be in this direction, 2, a 3, because of this 3. And this would have to be a 2. So that's 4, 7, 9. So a degree of freedom, not a lot of degree of freedom, just two of them. Let me just think this through, if you don't mind. So because this cell here is 3 or 4, you can see it. I think we can't use all of our, you know, the next cell a digit that it can be is 5, which is way too big. So let me just think about that. So this is, if this is a 2, 3, that's 5, 7, 9, 2 degrees of freedom, that is a definite 2. Now if I don't have a 2 in here, it'll be 3, 4, which is actually 5. So there's actually quite a bit of, I mean, it's two, three, four, five, and this is not a three, and this is three, four. So maybe that wasn't the one to look at. Maybe this one is, actually, because the minimum this can be is a four. So remove two and three from here. This could be four or five. Just, I'm looking at the wrong clones, excuse me, sorry. The minimum is four. This can't be a one. That's a two. So we're already at six. This is one, two, three. That's another minimum of four. That has to be a one, and everything else is forced. That removes a two from here, a four from there. One was never allowed in here. Oh, excuse me. That is a four, so not a four in here. That gives me a seven, of course, inside the cage. I'd spotted that earlier. And this cage, almost forced. I mean, three, eight, and five, six is still achievable. Let's think about this 11 now for just a bit longer, pardon me. Two, four. I mean, I can still do as little as seven, can't I? Four, no, excuse me, nine, with three and two. So this cell still gives a lot of freedom. The thing is, if there isn't, if it's not 2, 3, it has a 5, because we've removed the 1 and 4. So in a way, I'm still thinking the degrees of freedom are used in here with the 5, and this would be the 4. So something like 2, 5, 4 would get me, no, 2, 5 would get me to 7, and 2 would get me to 9, and then 11. So that would work. Or oh, this is 4. 
I've wasted enough time on this. Let's take a look what else is going on around the grid. This can still be 2.9. How about 1s? We've done a lot of 1s. So 1s are not in any of these cells. Now I'm pretty sure the 1 can't be here. So that is the 1. That's another 1. I think that is all the 1s. 2s. Not quite. Can that be a 2? No, that can't be a 2. Doesn't stop this from being 2, 9, though. Actually, this column in general is quite packed. So this is at least a 5. Six, six, five. I can't do seven, four. I could do eight, three. And I can't do nine, two. So this is five, six, eight. What about in here? So one of these has a three. Because if this is five, six, that's a three. If this is a five, this is three, eight. So one, two, three, and four are all gone. Can see the same thing in here. Right, how about this 11? But, you know, I'm having a bit of a slow day actually. Not 2 9. Could be 3 8. Not 4 7 and not 5 6 is 3 8. Okay. So that 11 is done, done, not done, done. Oh, this one next, maybe. Again, we've done all the twos, haven't we? Keep saying we've done all the twos, we haven't. And we already said not this two. So that is a two, that is a nine. So two is in one of these two cells for sure in here. <clears throat> so not two nine. Could be three eight. Three eight. Could be four seven. And could be five, six. There's a lot of options in here. 11 here is done, 11 there is done. Cages, so this is not one nine. Could be two eight, could be, it's a bunch of options. In fact, it is definitely three seven. Just Sudoku removes three from all of these. And here it is three seven. This 11 cage next. Can I do much with it? Not really. No twos. No threes we've covered before. No fours now. This is a five six pair. Which makes this not five six. Which makes this eight three. Which makes this a five, a six, a five, and this is now six and five. And remember that five was our degree of freedom. So that's now seven. These two have to add up to four, two, two. Done. I think that's all the little killers now done. Yeah, that's not four, that's not seven. Can't be six, five either, so this is three, eight. That is the little killers all done. And the cage is pretty much nearly, yeah, now definitely all done. So now we're down to Sudoku and the clones. This is an eight, which is what I've already placed in here. What are these two cells? They're not ones, twos, threes. Uh, excuse me, this is a nine. This cell is also not a four. It looks like it can be five, can be six, not seven, not eight, not nine. So this is five, six, five or six, pardon me. And this is, I mean, not one, two or three. It can be a four, not five. Looks like it could be six, not seven, not eight and not nine. Right, Sudoku please. I've kind of delayed it as much as I possibly can, as usual. That's a two, not two, two. These two cells, that's the seven, that's the five, which gives me a six, a six, and therefore a four and a four. This cell is known, whatever it may be, seven. In here, I need six and nine. That's the six, that's the nine, because of this six. In 
nine here. The nine is neither of these cells, that's the nine. Five and seven, that's seven, that's five. I'm sure why I'm using the mouse today. That is a eight. This is a five. Bit of a chaotic chaotic soul for me today. That's the eight. And then we need five and no, yeah, five, no, six and nine. I can't resolve that right now. Column looks like I need, <coughs> excuse me, an eight and then another six, nine. This is not the six, nine because of these two. And this is another six, nine in the, in the column. That's the four in here because of these two. Then the five eliminates all of these cells. Five is definitely in here. Let's think about this column. Five and seven. That is not a seven. That's a five. That's a seven. That's the other five in box three. It's the other five. There's only one of them. Eight and nine. This cell is just known. Four. So is this one. Three. So we have in the row one, six, nine, and five. This is not five or six. That's the nine. That's the six. That's the five. And therefore, that's the nine. And that's the six. This is another known one. Nine, is it? Yep. And then three and seven. And that's the seven, that's three. This is known with a four. Another known one, nine. Seven, and if I've not made any mistakes, eight for the finish. Happy birthday, Fasandel. Thank you, Tim Mutab, for this particular puzzle. Not necessarily my most elegant solves, just kind of running around trying to spot things, but um, it is solved. Hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle. Video, maybe. And see you back for the next one. Bye-bye for now.